All right, welcome into the show, Creative Crypto here. And in this video, I'm going to give you guys the updates and the progress of my 100-day compounding challenge here on the KuSwap decentralized exchange in their farms. So we'll check out the progress with that, and I'll give you guys my thoughts on KuSwap and just the future of KuSwap and the KuCoin smart chain and what needs to be done in order for this to really be sustainable and really last. So firstly, we will check the farm here. I've been continuing to compound every single day. I'm not gonna compound in this video because I compound at a certain time uh, after 24 hours of earning. So as you can see, because the KuSwap token has dipped in price, that's the reason that my liquidity is low because when I put this in, I put about $1,000 in here and I've continued to compound for about two weeks into here. And my value is still lower than I put in. So my strategy with this, guys, is I do have a stop loss. Okay, this 100-day challenge will go on as long as my stop loss is not met. And my stop loss is 10%. So if this liquidity value falls under $900, I will remove my entire liquidity from KuSwap and I'll be done with the KuSwap exchange here because it really needs to start picking up. And I really blame, you know, the CEO of KuCoin, Johnny Liu. You know, Johnny Liu, he's trying to be, you know, like CZ and like Binance with KuCoin offering their tokens to trade and then creating the KuCoin smart chain. And, you know, if you're going to do that, you really have to support the projects on your blockchain because in my opinion, if this KuSwap exchange doesn't make it and it doesn't last, I really don't see the KuCoin smart chain really doing anything or being a success at all. Because if you really want your blockchain to be valuable and people to use it, you need to start using it yourself. And the fact that KuCoin has never really backed the KuSwap exchange, they kind of just, they don't have a decentralized exchange that they recommend even though it's running on their blockchain, which to me really doesn't make sense because if you're creating your own blockchain, support the projects that are on your blockchain, especially KuSwap. It's the first decentralized exchange on the KuCoin smart chain, and you really need to start supporting it. I mean, this $13 million locked is nothing. You know, $1 million of trading volume, that's tiny, okay? KuCoin itself does around a billion dollars a day. So what they need to start doing is what CZ does. He routes some of that traffic into PancakeSwap, you know, to get it going when it's first starting out, okay? Because you have to support your projects that are on your blockchain. Otherwise, they're going to die and your blockchain is going to die because who's going to build on KuCoin, on the KuCoin smart chain if you can't even have a DEX that is sustainable, okay? You need a good DEX that is the leader in the space to then have those tokens trading on there and then people will feel comfortable to launch their tokens on the KuCoin smart chain because they have a viable swap everything's looking good but if you have something like this that just is not sustainable and you're not giving it the volume and you're not giving it the value locks that it needs then it's not going to make it and that looks bad on your entire blockchain so for me guys i'm really giving them a chance and you know johnny lou <laughs> Right now, CZ is your daddy. CZ is owning you, okay? And if you ever want to try to compete with Binance and be, you know, Binance's little brother, well, then you really got to do what Binance does. And Binance supports the project on their blockchain. As you can see with PancakeSwap, they've had tons of volume in there, and they support it. They have Cake listed on Binance, okay? Because they're willing to take the risk. Okay, unlike KuCoin, who's afraid to attach themselves with any decentralized DEX because they're afraid if something gets hacked, if something goes wrong, that they could be held liable. But you know what? That's okay because that's the risk you take in crypto. That's the risk you take in creating your own smart chain. It should be unhackable. It should be good to go. So do your research. Look into KuSwap if you're KuCoin and decide, should we pump some volume into this? To support this and give the people a good exchange because otherwise like I said if they don't I don't see the volume coming in here in fact the volume is leaving here okay 
because when I bought into this, I thought it was on a good dip. I thought that, you know, we I bought in here at about $4.50. You know, I thought we were on the, the rebound here. But to not see the volume coming in when they have over a billion dollars trading on their KuCoin exchange, their centralized exchange, you know, start supporting the projects on your blockchain. Because if you don't have a good DEX, if you don't have a reliable DEX for people to go to, Nobody's going to build on the KuCoin smart chain. So you need to understand that. You need to start injecting some liquidity over here and start making this thing viable. Because right now, I don't know, guys, with this 100-day challenge, it might end in a stop loss. Because like I said, if this value gets under $900, I will be pulling my liquidity. Now, the good thing is of compounding is because I've been compounding, it's somewhat holding its value pretty well. And so that's actually pretty good to see. The reason it's been holding its value well, even though the KuSwap token has dipped dramatically since I got in, is because the KuCoin token has done pretty well. And it's up about to $14 almost. And so that's holding its value. And then continuing to compound every day is also somewhat holding its value. So that's the benefits of yield farming. You know, if you get into the right yield farms and you compound, you really just lower your risk because you continue to grow your liquidity. And the goal is to have this liquidity go up in value because both of these token pairs go up in value. That's the goal of yield farming. Is you get into pairs that can rise in value and then you compound it and then you make even more. And if you want to pull profits, you just pull out some of your liquidity instead of just pulling out your earnings. So that's kind of the way I look at it. Um, but we see this APR has actually fallen as well we're down to 0.79 so a combination of apr falling the lack of volume the amount of total value locked has been going down kucoin hasn't supported this ku swap that's why it's struggling guys that's why it's struggling so it can completely rebound it can completely rebound if kucoin decides you know what let's take a couple million let's take you know 10 20 million let's go lock up some funds over here on the ku swap let's support them for building on our smart chain, building on our blockchain, because otherwise, like I said, nobody's going to build on KuCoin. It's going to be a failed smart chain project. And really, it's going to have no use case or really anything going for it. So Johnny Liu needs to understand that. Johnny Liu needs to start doing something and just start injecting some liquidity into KuSwap, because that's how you get it started. That's how you support the projects on your blockchain and how you support things in the crypto space. So guys, let me know in the comments down below, how have your farming been going? What's your strategy with the KuSwap exchange? You know, I am pretty patient with this. It's been about 14 days. I continue to compound. I've not pulled any profits from this. And like I said, I'm gonna continue to ride with it as long as it doesn't hit my stop loss. Cause I, ha I do have a stop loss on these things because I don't want it to get too low. Cause there's plenty of other opportunities out there that I can get in to earn and not have to worry about, you know, this type of low volume, low liquidity and everything else. I got in this because I saw it as a good opportunity because it's low, because it's somewhat ground floor and very early. That's a good opportunity to get in for growth. But if it's not going to grow, if I don't see the potential of growth, then I will get out. And I recommend you guys do the same if that does happen. And I'll make a video if I do decide to get out of the coup swap uh, farming here. But as of now, the 100-day challenge is still on. My goal is to every single day compound my earnings back into the liquidity for 100 days. And then after that, pull some profits and see where we're at. So that's the updates here, guys. I appreciate the support on the first video. I know you guys liked that first video, sharing the strategies and stuff. So thank you for that. Thank you for all the new subscribers. I really appreciate it. If you want to follow along for the journey, you can hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the thumbs up. Share this video around, and I'll continue to update you guys on this KuSwap exchange or anything else I find in the crypto space that I find interesting that we can make some, possibly some passive income or some gems that we can get into trade as well. So guys, hope you're having a great day wherever you guys are. Until the next time, we will talk again. Take care and take charge. Creative Crypto, out.